It's time to make our pig craft, our pink piggy. So just like yesterday with your cow, you're gonna do some coloring. You can use whatever you would like to color with. Then you're gonna do some cutting. And then I noticed that the pig's legs are a little bit shorter than the cow's legs. So we've got some little piggy legs and we're gonna add some detail with our little curly pink tail and our eyes. So the first thing you're going to do is color and cut out your pig head and body. And we're gonna use our glue. And remember, whatever glue is easiest for you. I even like to put some glue in a little container and use a paintbrush to put on or even a Q-tip to dab on. Here's my pig. I'm gonna put him in a little bit further down my paper. Remember, he's got those short little legs. She has those short little legs. And then, just like the cow, the pig has four legs. So we're gonna glue those on. One. Two, three, four. Four little piggy legs. So now I have my legs and I am going to, just like the cow, they have a tail. So I'm gonna use, this is a pipe cleaner. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna twirl it around my finger, make it a little curly pigtail. And this is going to need a lot of glue. Just like our stick did the other day, but that held on pretty good. So I'm lifting up the body a little bit so I can put my little curly piggy tail in there. And then I'm going to put more glue on body so it will stay down. Make sure it curls up. Pretty cute. So it's under the paper, under his body. And then what am I missing here? Yes, two eyes. I need two eyes on my pig. And I think I'm gonna go pink. One, two, Two pink eyes on my pig. You can use whatever you would like for your piggy eyes. And then the last little detail, I don't have that on my on my first picture, but I was thinking we saw the picture of the, the pigs all snuggled together and they were all snuggled together in the mud when they were sleeping. So I thought maybe it might be fun to put some mud on our piggy. Now you could use a brown marker or even a brown crayon and maybe put some brown on the bottom there. I was going to try and use some of my, my watercolor paint. So I'm gonna open that up and I see all of my colors here. And I'm looking for the color of dirt, of, of mud, and that would be my brown right here. And this is brand new and I'm gonna get my water. I've got to dip my paintbrush in the water, get my paintbrush wet so I can put it around here on my paint, on my brown paint. And then I'm going to try to put some mud on my little piggy. I think he just got up from his nap. He's got some on his body and on his legs. If you'd like to put some mud on your pig, you can. You can choose any color construction paper to put them on. I'm gonna get a little more water. And anytime you change colors, 
You want to put it in the water, clean it off before you get to another color. I'm going to keep going with my brown and put some, put some more mud on my piggy. Maybe a little on his face. He loves it. Put some around my pig. Even though I've got brown construction paper, I'm going to put a little brown mud. All right, what do you think of that? I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks like a happy pig in the mud. I hope you have fun making your pig. Again, I would love to see pictures of any of your art projects. And I will see you next for our pig snack. I wonder what that's gonna be. Don't forget to clean up your mess too. Paint can be